So we are in the thermal web booth like everyone is asked. Um, so we're gonna talk, everyone has been asking for this stuff. Oh, and we're gonna talk about the flock. We're gonna talk about um, the new Brutus Monroe stuff I think they have out. Um, Gina k has got some new stuff out that you guys just saw in the email. I know you guys aren't getting notifications, so some of you might see this in the future. So if you have questions, well, let me know. But this flock is looking pretty interesting. That's what we are gonna start. We're gonna start with my good, beautiful friend, Halloween Mistress queen. of the World Queen. You guys, Julia. you guys saw me share that post. That, your house is amazing at Halloween. And I did not know you go just as balls to the walls for Christmas. <laughs> oh, it is amazing. You should see her photo. I, I, a beautiful. Yeah, I gotta, I'm going to go on and find you so yes. I can see it. Yeah, okay, so crazy. anyways, <laughs> we're here for flocking. Where do we got going? About a holiday yes, yes. Okay. With, well, and this isn't even all the colors. White is not out. So we okay. have white. So this is the new This is the new flock. flock. And the white can be Oh. So that's an ink that's not even it. It's just pretty, pretty bright white. I'm looking to see if I had a white around me. That might have been popular, but yes, and it has this amazing texture. It comes in those gorgeous, vibrant colors. Yeah. So it feels, what would you, it feels like, I mean, I hate saying it feels like, yeah, yeah velvety, 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 smooth. Wait, it's a word, right? Yeah. yeah. It's soft. It's, it's really is. soft. Very soft. Yes. So those are just cut into just little pieces so you guys can see, but they're normally six by 12 and there's no adhesive on the back. So do keep that in mind. Okay. No, no adhesive, adhesive on the back. back. I okay. do know a company that does adhesive. Yeah, I wonder who. I wonder who. Ah. Maybe in the right place. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so what we did is took our deco foil foam sheets. You guys have seen those oh. and they come six by 12, okay? Yep. Yep. Same size as flax, same size as foil. Okay, Go figure. all we did was die cut a piece of that foam sheet. It's a double liner. So one of the liners was taken off and put down onto the card. So we're going to do this, you know, on camera, of course, when you have nails. Should have the guys doing this, but right. we're going to, yeah, right? So we got to get a starting run. You need a pokey get, pokey tool. Yeah, I know. We got to get a starting run on getting that okay. liner off. So oh, there we go. oh I that. think I know what the magic is. I'm not, I won't, re, I won't take away your magic. You're so cute. You can never take away the magic, can you? I don't think so. I'm already excited. Sorry about that. I probably didn't do a full complete. Did I miss anything? I'm worried I missed no, something. I think no, you. Oh, one right there. You see it, Ken? Yep, I do. It's right here. Go for it. For someone who does not have nails. Yeah. Yeah, right? Otherwise, we'll peel off another one. Because I don't know. Do you want me to try and get it now? We just need it's stuck on itself. Yes. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Thanks for joining. It looks like we've got more people coming. Thank you. Hello, everybody. We got notifications. Yeah, we got notifications. We're getting better. There you go. Did you get it? Yep. Oh, she got oh, that look. one, too. Oh, oh look at that. Okay, I did a full clean one there. Thanks, yeah. guys, for your there we patience. Go. Thanks. So, Kate. I've exposed all the adhesive from the phone. I've got the flock sheet. And this one, we're going to take color side. And what are we going to do? Place it on it the stickiness. So just press down. And then we're going to use a machine. Like oh. your scissors or whatever you have, a manual machine, and it's solely for pressure. Okay, pressure. That's it. It's just okay. pressure. Your finger is not going to have enough pressures to, gotcha. to get the kind of transfer that we want you to achieve. Okay? Okay. So when you peel it away, just take your oh. Imagine uh. that is amazing. <laughs> Oh, okay, that. that's pretty cool. Wow, look at that. Look at that. And, and it's a perfect blocked look. It you didn't is. miss any spots. Wow. Look at that, you guys. <gasps> Take that. That's awesome. That is and amazing. Then, look at what you're left with. The well, you, got, you got the negative. That and, is awesome. And what do we know from when we work with foil with negatives? Yeah. Anything that's left is what? Usable. Usable, yep. Yes. Or if you like the negative, you could work on that. You could use our adhesive pen and go into that and then put some uh, foil into that as well. Wow. Wow. Good. So that's one way to transfer it. Okay. Now, we do have one other way to transfer it. Right. Let's do it. That? Yes. Here, do you want this? We're going to use this. Ah. So, oh, I love this stuff. So we have our deco foil transfer gel, which you guys know, right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We know it. And all we've done is use a stencil and put that on, okay? Okay. And it has a dry time, so it's dry. Can catch it. When it's dry, it goes clear. Okay. So we're gonna pick a color. 
what are we going to do again? Always, we're going to put on this one. Color side down. Color side down. Color side down. And everybody knows what this is. What do we That's have my here? royal sovereign. Um, yes. The best I've ever used. We're going to make, we call it a sandwich. It is not an edible sandwich, though. So line it up in there. Always, when we go with a laminator, what do we do, guys? We go fold first, right? Fold first. Fold first into the laminator. So fold first. Now, the laminators have been running a long time. So we're doing two passes through. One pass may work if your laminator is really, really hot, but we feel like we've overworked the heck out of the right. laminator. <laughs> so once it comes out, we're going to put it through one more time. And this when is when she, we have so, to have patience, right? So uh, somebody's asking, when she says use a manual machine, will the electric die cutting embossing machines such as the Impress, Tim and I, and what, whatnot, work as well to cut? You can cut the foam in those machines. Okay, there you go. Yes, you can. All we were using that for is applying the flock to yeah, the foam for Yeah, but it would work as well. Okay. Absolutely, work as well. So okay, you're doing it. Do you're going to do a double. We're putting it through twice. Doing a double. Doing a double run through. That's... That was a. Uh, find out who that was. What? I heard my thing go off. <laughs> That's what she said. Believe me, when I hear the uh, the sound of uh, Star Trek, <laughs> I, he's yeah, alert. I can hear that. It's it's spam. Sean's okay. like, Woo! What is it? Spam. I just it's the sound of the Star Trek. Uh, uh, he beaming, was on that. beam out. Oh. Interrupted the whole live and yeah. everything. You see that? Ooh, look at that! 192 people. people. I know. I know. They're waiting. These we people. finally, finally got it. I know. We want us to show a booth. We want to show a booth. All right. So All right. We put it through the laminator, and we're gonna do the same thing. Gently peel it wow. away. Wow. Look at that. That's a perfect application. Isn't that beautiful, look at that. you guys? So yes. two ways you can use the flock. The flock with our decofoil foam sheets and then the flock with our decofoil transfer gel. Right. And, and you can do it with any dye, really. Thanks, Angela. Um, um, the, the, you're just using the... We just use the Sizzix Big Shot. But like you use your, your double-sided foam, right? Double-sided foam, so really, you can cut that in any anything. Any dye. Anything. So you're going to take, so cut it in the dye, peel off one side. So if you're, so somebody was asking like and on this the, style, the stamp, yes, right? yes. if That's somebody doesn't have or, or something this, would a rolling pin work? Actually giving it enough pressure on it. They can so, absolutely give it a yeah, try. Yeah, give it a try, see what happens. That'll give them enough yeah. pressure yeah. to transfer the color. This stuff is gorgeous. Where'd it go? There it is. Yeah. Let me tilt down a little bit more. Yeah, it's beautiful. Can it be used with any laminator? Yes, as yes. long as that so laminator we, provides enough heat for enough heat, the product yeah. to transfer. And do it twice. We did it twice. Yeah, why can't you? Probably would work just fine. Look at that. Look at the negative. The mink, yeah, it'll work. So yeah, anyone. That is awesome. It's fun, fun, fun. Thanks, Julia. Look at some of this stuff. Look at this card. Isn't that beautiful? We and color your world with deco foil. Hi, Christine from New Zealand. How are you doing? Can it be bought over here? I don't know. Are you guys in New Zealand or can be uh, purchased? We just released it here, so they'll have to watch. That card is awesome. I don't know. Possible. Oh, it's blinding too. Yeah. yeah. Any time that I've done a stamp, let's say like um, you know, for example, I'm just going to use one fun example, and you do a bear dot, right? And you always want to get you can color a bear all day long, but this gives the bear the texture. What yeah. is this? What are you showing me this? I made this with the Oh my gosh. <laughs> and that's felt as well. He said, what are you showing what me this for? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I didn't even yeah, Nick, you should work first. fine. Do that's a double run with it. it I know. Isn't that amazing? Oh you my can't goodness. You can tell with the texture. Yeah, that feels cool. Isn't that great? Oh yeah, I like it. And then that's it on the wrist. Yeah, look at all this. On the bottom. No, no, no. You can have one of me. Awesome. Give it away yourself. No, no, no. It's a lot of fun. It's awesome. That's very cool. Very cool. I love this. Look at that. What a great concept. Can you use this on that is the your other sheets? Yep. The clear ones with the so printed. On the other one, it was like a foam. Hold on. Let me get back to that question. Sorry. It's ready. Watch. 
Uh, can you use this on the other sheets, the clear ones with the printed designs? So that's a completely different product. Yeah. It's our DecaFoil clear design toner sheets, and that's intended for foil to transfer. So you could maybe cut them out if you wanted to just put them in the shape. Say we have the one that looks like leaves. Right. You could, if you want to cut it and fill it in, cut these out in the leaf shape. Over here. Yeah, just put it in the thing. Yeah. Yep. They are not technically to work. And he, so she went. Can you embossed with emboss this? Back and forth. Yes. Nice. That's there you go, Bebel. There That's you go. I'm already playing. Yeah, look at it. Kenny's playing. I'm already playing because like, she didn't. She wanted to see how it worked. Now, is yeah. this from? Is this cut from a metal die? Yes, yes that is cut from a, yeah, most likely a Sizzix die. Sizzix die. And I can show yeah. them if you want to hang on. I'll come right back. I'll All show right. you the package of what that foam is. I heard it say about the neck. I saw that. You have the negative. Isn't that amazing? Look at so that. You can use this, but you can also use the negative. Is that awesome? Can you guys put a gear in here? Yeah, it's really not, cool. Show them so they know. That's the so, foam. So this is the foam. Here, let me get it show you. you with any dye. I think so that's key. He is any dye. I'm any sure, dye. I'm sure so this even is any stamp companies dyes that any have dye. Cute little critters, and that's what I'm saying. A lot of them have cute little critters, yeah. big little critters. Yes, it will. All that, and now you have that natural fuzz. So what colors are being released in this show? Uh, all of them, all at once. We all at once? So this is, this is the so decal foil foam like adhesive. So this is what they cut that heart out. So okay. you get any dye, yes. any dye will cut this. Oh, it is. I'll pull them out. Yes. When is it coming out? So there you go. Start shipping end of month, beginning of March. So beginning of March, end of February, end of first part of March. It was nice meeting Perfect. you. Perfect. Thanks, Julia. My pleasure. Great, Shawnee. Right. You want to show this? We got to go over to where Miss Gina is. Do you want this? There's Gina. Ooh, look at that. Look at those colors. And then white. There's a white, and there's a white, but it's somewhere else. There is something else. Oh, we'll, they're all on the back wall. Oh, let me go to the back wall real fast. All on the back wall. I'm cleaning we'll go to the back up my wall. Mess. Don't worry. I promise. Yeah. Uh, la, 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 la. Let's see. Here's the flock. There's the flock white. And again, like they said, six by twelve. Four pieces per package. Game changer in uh, textures. Excellent. Excellent. I know. Kid in a candy store. Now I know Gina is working on something. Oh, I know, like, I know. Let's Here, see, I missed again. Sorry, I missed something. Let's see. Hey, Angel, hey, Angel. No more, it will not. So the Blitz is a new product. It comes in 10 exciting colors, and I want to show you what it looks like. Look at that. Oh, let me tilt down a little bit. Oh, look at that. That's just awesome. Looking. Shine. So the thing that's really cool about this glitter gel is there's no additional pigment in here. The pigment comes from the glitter itself. There's no pigment in the liquid. It's all in a clear gel. So it's loaded with sparkle and shine. And you can see how creamy that is. What happens sometimes is if you add pigment into these glitter gels, it dulls the shine of the glitter. So this is just clear, which enhances the shine. So let me show you how this system works. Alright, so I'm going to start with what I did here is we cut out a template using the dies that coordinate with the stamps. And the stamp set that I'm going to use is the new Petals and Wings. This stamp set can be used just as a stamp set. So it's got the, the two parts right in the stamp set. So if you want to do traditional stamping and die cutting with this, you can. Now, I've pre-cut a bunch of butterflies, and I've got them right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the butterfly into the stencil, into my template here. And then what you can do is then you can lay your image right on there to make sure that it's lined up well. Okay. And then you can pick that up with the lid of the Misty. 
Okay. And now your stamp should be in a good position that you can go back over and over again and just pop butterflies in and stamp them. So I'm going to stamp this with some sea glass ink. Then stamp that and see if I got it pretty close to the center. <laughs> Not too bad. All right. And I'm going to pop that out of there. Then I'm going to put just a little bit of sticky stuff on the back and I'm going to lay that on my craft mat. Then I'm going to find the coordinating stencil that goes with it and I'm going to line that stencil up. It's got a little bit of, we've been working with this all weekend, so I suggest when you get these at home that you actually take your stencils to the sink when you're done and just wash them. We've been wiping them with baby wipes, so it's not quite as effective, but it's pretty good. So then I'm going to use one of the new glitter gels. So let's see about this color. This is turquoise C. Let's see how beautiful that color is. Mm. Isn't that gorgeous? Our favorite color. Yep, I know, right? We're all matching. It's in my logo. Yes. Too. And I'm going to take a little bit of that, and you can see how creamy that is. And we're going to spread it on here like it's a peanut butter sandwich. Just nice and thin here. And then with the glitz, you really don't need much. So you really want to kind of get rid of all the excess. Like that. Then when you're done, you want to lift straight up on the stencil. And you can see what's left behind. Now let's see if I can get this picked up without ruining it. So I can... How long does wow. it take to dry? Um, it takes about 15 minutes to dry. Not very long. Can you 15 minutes. Set it to okay. uh, speed it up? It definitely will help. Wow. So you can you can use a, heat, uh, a, a heater or something? Yeah, you can use a heat tool and okay. dry it a little That's bit. So almost like a hair dryer. Cool. That's gorgeous. Um, but, you know, if you make a whole bunch of them and you just put them aside, it really doesn't take very long yeah. for them to dry. That's amazing. So, very pretty. So that's one thing that you can do with this. Now I'm going to put that aside. And let me just clean this stencil. So I do have some baby wipes here to clean the stencil. I'm trying to keep it clean. Um, but like I said, if you're home, just rinse it under the water. The glitz will just rinse right off. It's very easy to clean. And it doesn't have pigment in it, like I said, so it doesn't dull the shine of that glitter at all. Show the colors here while you're going to the next piece here. Yeah, I can tell you what they're called. We've got the white here, which is amazing. The white is so pretty. Snowflakes and things like that. Yeah. We've got the red velvet and the turquoise sea, gold, sweet mango, wild lilac. This one is the grass green, bubblegum pink, and my, one of my favorites is black. Oh, I like That's that. That's amazing, yeah. right? You, uh, as soon as it's available, yes, you'll be able to get a few notions. So now, what I do here is I also have a bunch of butterflies that are pre-stamped and pre-stenciled. Um, pre so let me grab one of these. Here's a, what color do I want to use? There's some pink ones under here. Okay, so this is stamped with the bubblegum pink ink, and then it's stenciled with Decofoil Transfer Gel. So the first one was stenciled with Glitz, this one is stenciled with Decofoil Transfer Gel. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little piece of my brand new Glimmering Gold Foil, and if you guys haven't seen this yet, last year we released the Sparkling Silver and everybody said, we want gold too, we're doing gold this year. That's so. beautiful. Gold is amazing. So I'm going to cut a piece of this gold. And when will, then, when will it be available at the Village Paper and Ink? Uh, that will be available in March. There you That's go, guys. March. In March. In March, everybody. So now I'm going to put that butterfly down and I'm going to lay the piece of glimmering gold on top. Then I'm going to send that through the laminator. Now, while that's going through the laminator, I want to tell you a little bit about these stencils. These stencils have all of the details so you can create the two-step look. So, for example, I stamped this and then I used the berry details on top to create this card. So you can see all of the details in there. 
gorgeous. But these big background chunks work great for background stamping. So I'll show you a couple other. This gorgeous card that was made with this part of the stencil. Isn't that stunning? Mm -hmm. That is beautiful. So that one was done with the Decofoil Transfer Gel with the glitz. So here's glitz with the black glitter. Look at that. Oh, that's so wow. pretty. Isn't that elegant? You are right. I, like I really do like Yeah. And black like glitter. It. It's hard to find black yeah. glitter gel like this. Yes. Especially so creamy. It's so creamy and you can get all the fine details, which I just love. Yeah. All right. So now I'm going to open this and peel and reveal this cute little butterfly. <laughs> I can hear my wallet crying. Crying, yeah. I know, I know. Isn't it true? Do we have price points yet on this stuff yet? Um, oh my gosh. You know, that I don't know. Okay. Cool. Um, we could probably get that information yeah, from one of the buyers. I'll get that when we're done. Thanks. Yeah. Or one of the... Sellers. It's one of the, yeah, one of the... Uh, yeah. Gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. So pretty. So now you've got the chunky glitter that that's raised and gives you texture and then you've got this glittery foil can i see that one real quick yeah, i'm going to do sure. one of these things yeah. so i'm going to get up really close where you can almost yeah so can you see the the loft on that yeah there you go so that's got a lot of texture where the, the foiled one is relatively flat but still yeah. shiny trade you yeah Catalogs, pretty. Yes, they have catalogs right Over up at the there, counter. Okay. Yeah. Hey, the now, new gold. The other thing course. that you can do with this same stamp and stencil is I really want your glasses. my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Are you giving those away today? Yeah, uh, my glasses. <laughs> I won't be able to demo anymore without them. But they're so now, really my color. Another thing that you can do is you can take a butterfly. So let's see how this works here. You can take a butterfly. And you can use the brand new ThermoWeb Flock. Do you remember Flock? Everybody yeah. was using Flock a million oh, years ago. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. this is not your grandma's Flock. Yeah. Okay. This was that Flock was loose Flock, and you'd put it on with glue, and it would be a mess, and it wouldn't look smooth, and it was hard to control. Okay. This Flock is on a paper backing, and what you do is you add your details with the Deco Foil Transfer Gel, and you place the butterfly on the flock face down and you send it through the laminator and what you get is you get this look so you see that you feel that you can actually feel it's furry just like the flock of years ago but then you have this left behind when you peel it off so I recommend taking that and cutting it out with the coordinating die, and then you've got a debossed butterfly, and you're using that. every little bit of that flock, so there's no waste. So now nice. you can mix and match flocked butterflies with foiled butterflies with, where'd my little blue He's one right go? There. He's there over go. here with glitzed butterflies. And you can have all different kinds of look all different kinds of looks all with one stamp and one coordinating stencil gorgeous mm -hmm. so these are the new products that we're releasing here at the thermal web booth under the gina k designs brand we also have a lot Gene, of new you just heard that ever gina k designs. designs that's where you'll get it yep yeah and you'll be able to get it at fine retailers all over the country or all over the world once it's released you'll also be able to get it at gdkdesigns.com and thermoweb.com so check your local stores first and if you can't find it come and see us okay, okay. Yeah. Thank all right thanks so gina thank you. You, guys. you guys you yes. betcha yes we do yes oh, thank you thank you guys thank you bet thanks gina yeah. Yeah, come on, all right i just wanted to show some of this for, oh, for, for, card over here with us Goodness. What do we got? Look at this. Look at this stencil card with that. Oh, and that see? Is so elegant. Look at that. Yeah. Is that with the glitz? Yeah. yeah it's wow. a glitz even Look with the black. That. Oh my goodness. Is that beautiful? I mean, it just shines. That's beautiful. That's gorgeous. Wow. That is really pretty. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. yeah, coming around. So a lot of people since we so here's the new Brutus Monroe stuff. Selection. These are the toner sheets from Brutus Monroe. <coughs> Remember the toner sheets you can uh, place on your uh, 
foil sheets and then run it through your laminator. Look at these. These are awesome looking. They're calling them sketch with lines through it. Look at that. Very awesome. Thanks, Glenda. Yeah, thumbs up, everybody. There's almost 300 of you in here. That's gorgeous. Just think of that with a uh, one of the foils. And here's the ones that uh, we showed uh, one time on our videos. The oil slick one. It's a little hard to see, but... I'm Marie from Scotland. I am Scottish myself. One of these days I'll have to make it out there. Anyway, the, the Brutus Monroe stuff. We're, well, Christopher was here and then he disappeared. He must be on a break. So he was here not too long ago. But this stuff I think is really cool. Just look at that. Yeah, Debbie, everybody's wallet's going to be crying after all this stuff. I don't have too much battery left, so I'm going to be trying to do this quickly. <clears throat> you can use any laminator, anything that can create heat, rollers, and press it. Use it. Uh, she ran it twice, so just run your stuff twice. Of course, all the dickle foil. I'll get up. We'll uh, look back here again. The public can if you want to pay to get in or you have somebody that can sponsor you like we can. We can sponsor up to so many people. She's not joking. Not at all. Toner sheet should work with any heat any heat laminator. Because all it's doing is heating it up. What do I do? Yes. Yes, uh, Fatima. She used to work for quite a few of the uh, companies. She's worked for Close to My Heart. A couple other, a couple other companies too. So yeah, she used to. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and uh, go because my camera is about yeah, to die. We get to trade them out. I hope you guys like this booth. I'm really loving the flock, um, but this transfer, uh, the glitz glitter gel is pretty amazing. What I really like about the uh, the block is it's the same application process yeah, same. as if it was doing a foil. So you're not having to relearn something, no. and that um, the glitter glitz gel is it's. I hope you guys see it on camera. It's really, really it amazing. Nice. So it's when pretty you, when impressive. You, when you get to yeah. touch that flock and how cool it is. For those who used to know it, it's back and it's and it's back with a vengeance. Yeah. It's gonna so, be really nice. It's really cool new products, guys. I'm super excited yep, for this yep. booth. So we will see you soon in our next video. All right, bye. Bye.